School playgrounds are places where there's a lot of emphasis put on cooperation, on harmony, on playing together in a way that is kind of seen as positive uh, and enjoyable for everybody. And if something looks like it involves um, throwing punches or kicking or anything of that kind, teachers quite often seize on that and see it as a problem. I think the, the difficulty there though is that for the children involved um, it's often a matter of um, quite elaborate pretense. They're caught up in a fantasy and that fantasy of course isn't particularly obvious to adult onlookers but the children themselves are caught up in something that's very meaningful and very dynamic for them and you know they're excited by it, they enjoy it and because it's at the level of pretense it's only really when things go wrong that it becomes problematic for the children themselves. Okay. One of the common anxieties about the way that uh, boys play uh, involves seeing it as a matter of fairly chaotic conflict and not really properly playing together, certainly not playing together nicely. But I guess you could argue that what boys do when they uh, get involved in play fighting is that they actually collaborate quite carefully to um, construct a narrative of uh, risk and conflict which they then work through towards a resolution. Girls do get involved in play fighting um, but they have much less of an investment in the combative stances and the, the repertoire of combative gestures that, that boys usually display. The kind of uh, combative play that uh, we have seen them uh, involved in in, sc in school is much more based in family conflicts where there might be something like a very familiar mundane scenario involving conflict between teenagers and their parents over what time to be in, what time to go to bed, uh, over what kind of household chores uh, must be done. But girls quite often take that to another level and will elaborate it involving a, say, a, a, a narrative development that, that involves uh, something like kidnapping. Uh, and so they'll, they'll add a layer of kind of fantasy that takes you beyond the kind of mundane contained world of the family into something that is a much more complex narrative.